Uh, England have won this game by five wickets. It was a reduced target of 103 from 18 overs, and they've got over the line. And as the supporters begin to drift out of Sapphire Gardens, they've been well entertained in this game. It's not been a run fest, but there's been plenty of intrigue. Sri Lanka won the toss, made 111 for seven. Top scoring in that innings, 39 from Kusal Mendis uh, before he was caught by Best off the bowling of Mark Wood, who had an excellent day with the ball. Four overs, two for 18. A couple more wickets for Adil Rashid. Four overs, two for 24. He's yet to even concede a boundary in this series. Adult Rashid, a couple of wickets, uh, uh, well, one wicket apiece for Sam Curran and Chris Jordan. In the England innings, well, we wondered how England would fare without Joss Butler at the top of the order. Johnny Bairstow was his replacement, and he was out without scoring. Third ball, bowled by Fernando. David Milan made just four from five before he was out LBW on review. Owen Morgan, the England captain, then fell for 11, chopping a ball towards backward point and into the hands of De Silva and Jason Roy departed for 17. At that point, England were 36 for four, and there looked to be a little bit of trouble in their pursuit of what was 112 at that stage. The rain came down, that changed things. Sam Billings was the, uh, the final man out for England for 24, bowled by De Silva, chopping on, and at the end there, Liam Livingston on 29 and Sam Curran on 16. Get England over the line. What will Owen Morgan have learned from today? Because this was a game where there was a little bit of a fright. Yeah, there was, you know, Jason Roy and Johnny Bairstow really struggled at the top of the order where when the ball was swinging. You know, we, we often talk about bowling that back of a length delivery, but bowling it full enough that the ball is allowed to swing. And the, the pitch was misbehaving just a little bit, but there was some definitely some swing. Um, but what I really like is it's not the end of the world that England lost some quick wickets because they've seen their middle order. They've seen that they have, you know... They have firepower down there. Sam Billings, Liam Livingston and Sam Curran coming in at the end there and building that platform, building the partnership between Billings and Livingston. And, and that is what won England this game. Indeed. What will be the big takeaway? The bowling, presumably more than the batting? Yeah, the bowling. They've been outstanding with the bowling, being able to, to bowl the same bowlers more than one over in a power play. Quite often you see captains, especially Owen Morgan, chopping and changing their bowlers. So you only give David Willey one, then Mark Wood one. But because the ball was swinging in England, you know, were relentless with the lines and the lengths that they bowled. Curran and Willie were able to bowl throughout the power play and, and they were fantastic this evening. Yeah, and this is a series that provides opportunity. No Joffre Archer, no Ben Stokes. So places up for grabs. Mark Wood, well, you thought he'd be uh, a natural selection for England. He had a great day with the ball. Others did a good job too. So there's uh, certainly some, some questions that are getting answered for England and, uh, and their, um, their brains trust ahead of the rest of this summer and indeed going into that big winter with the T20 World Cup in October.